How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we've got another one of those amazing videos that you all love, the community question ones, the ones where I put a poll on my community section and you all vote and you all leave comments and I basically just read them out to you guys, go through what you guys have said to the uh, the question that I've given you all and we just discuss basically your thoughts. We talk about it, I give a little bit of info on anything that's sort of similar to my side of it as well and this one should be quite funny. A lot of you guys will probably relate to this and honestly you'll probably have a bit of a laugh through this as well and so many of you have commented on it it's absolutely crazy how many comments this has with how many people have actually seen the post so this is really really cool and i'm very excited to go through this but the question that i gave to you today was what makes you rage the most in runescape what makes you get the most angry what pisses you off the most so we're going to go through that we're going to have a look what you guys think i'm sure there's plenty that i can relate to if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and also consider joining as a channel member if you're interested. You get some perks and you also support me as well. Link to Twitch in the description. Now, with all that out of the way, let's get started. Alright, our first comment is from Dragonfur07. When I want to PVM but can't find a good world, so I play on the best world I can find, and then die to lag without my Ring of Death on. Quite specific, but it happens way too often. Holy crap, yes, this freaking... Ah... It's, it's unreal how often when you die, like if you die in this game, it always seems to be when you've just switched a Ring of Vigor. Like this is the only time I don't have my Ring of Death on is when I put my Ring of Vigor on. And I only put that on for two seconds while I am trying to use Death Swiftness. But it always seems to be at that moment that something happens, I'll miss a prayer flick at Raksha or I'll get swiped by his tail or something will be happening and it'll just completely screw me up and I'm gone. It's like, it just seems like that's the way that it happens. You say it's quite specific, but it happens way too often. 100% you are absolutely right. It just it, it just happens like a lot. Now, what he's talking about with the, uh, the good world, by a good world, he means having one without like 300 people on it. As soon as you've got 300 people on a world, it's probably time to change world to one that has less if you can. Because as soon as that reaches that point, the delay on the server just becomes terrible. Now, a lot of you will say, oh, that doesn't happen to me. And from videos talking about it in the past, it seems like it happens a lot more to people like in the EU servers or on the the, uh, like the Australian and New Zealand servers but people in the US seem to not get it as bad I'm sure some of you still have to deal with it but from the people who are saying that they didn't have an issue with it, it always seem to be from the US so it's really cool if you guys don't have that issue but definitely this is one of those things that is kind of a pain in the ass we've got people down here saying um, no sense on making another post because I totally agree 100% with this person and someone saying as an Aussie our best option is a two second delay yep so this is exactly something that happens and yeah, this definitely makes me rage as well. Maybe one day we'll have stable servers, but until then, we can just keep hopping and try to find a good one. Our next comment says, when you accidentally click on the wrong button when trying to load a preset, and instead you overwrite it, wiping your previous preset in the process. Why is there no confirmation on that? Yes, dude, yes, JGX, please answer. Why is there no confirmation on that? Why do we not have, are you sure or something? Just to double check, you know, just, just to, just to double check. We have an, are you sure you want to equip this item that will no longer be tradable, but once you pay 10K to fix it, it will be tradable. We have a confirmation on that. And that's annoying. If we fix our gear, our presets don't work. So we have to do the confirmation on that. But our preset overwrite doesn't have a confirmation. Could we get one? If, if That'd be really cool. I, I definitely agree with you. This is so frustrating, especially when you've like dragged them around. Because you can drag them down the, up and down the preset list so you can use the first uh, number one and number two to make sure that you can actually load the bottom. So overwriting it is something that you can definitely do in the wrong places. So annoying. Our next one says, when you die to lag and have to donate 13 mil to JGX or to death. Not to, not to JGX, but to death. Maybe they could use a lot of money to fix the servers. <laughs> okay, so I don't want this video just to be some sort of like target JGX and kick off with them sort of thing. Obviously, a lot of the stuff is going to be sort of heading that way, but we're not going to try and do that. But basically, yeah, the, the death costs in this game are absolutely ridiculous. They need reworking. They were designed a long time ago for gear that wasn't worth so much, like so much money. It wasn't taken into account that people might might be bossing like further in the future with like five bill or six bill on them at one point and that's that's being generous so when you die now death costs can be absolutely ridiculous i have a preset that is actually 11 and a half mil and that is a ridiculous amount of money to lose but just from a death 
and I only ever die on this preset, I swear to god. Like I said earlier, I only ever die when I change the Ring of Vigor just to use Sunshine or something at Telos. It's, it's stupid, but it definitely happens and it's so frustrating. But when you die to lag, that makes it even worse. It feels like you've been like stabbed in the back and then also as soon as you've been stabbed in the back, you've turned around to see who it was and your best friend just stabbed you in the face. <laughs> it kind of just feels like that because you did one, you just died to lag, you found out there was lag and you're already frustrated and then you appear in death's office and you're like, oh, oh, 13 mil? Ugh, uh, no. It just doesn't feel good, and this is definitely something that does make a lot of people rage. I've done it. In fact, in the past, there's been times that I've done, say, ED3 for an hour, and I've died once to some stupid skeletons because of lag, couldn't couldn't change my prayer or something, and I've died, and it's been like a 6 mil death cost, and that's pretty much wasted the full hour. Like, I've done a full hour, got nothing, made no money, so I've gone to the dull arena and done a 10 mil stake. Won it, thankfully. I thankfully won it, made my money back. And that made the hour worth it. But I don't recommend anyone actually does that. It'll probably turn out badly. And I haven't done it again since. Because it just is it's just not a good thing to do. Camnel says, Dark Boeing racks right as a mirror back spawns. <laughs> I fully feel this one. This is something that happened to me so much. But it wasn't with a dark bow. I've stopped doing racks. And this is one of the reasons why. One, the mirror back. Yes, the mirror back. You can kind of know when it's coming. But the, the worst one is the freaking web, dude. That web will reflect damage back to you before you can even see the animation start. Now, you can count the attacks, and yes, know there's a special attack coming. And if it's not been a web on the last one, then there's a good chance that it's going to be a web on this one. But, do you really want to do that at this boss? This boss isn't a difficult boss. It's kind of like an easier boss, and you kind of switch off. It's kind of a boring fight, at least in my opinion. You kind of switch off, and you just kind of deal with the mechanics as they come. Use your anticipate, use your freedom, you'll be fine. But, the, you know what? That, that web. There's been so many times that I've used detonate, and then released that with an auto and wild magic. And I'm telling you, that's like, what, 25k damage sometimes? That's an insta-death. That is a 100% insta-death. If you're higher than like 100% enrage at Rax, you're freaking dead. Also, anything, literally anything, using a snipe on it, using the dart bow would freaking definitely kill you. A lot of people use a Saradamin God bow. <laughs> that, that just doesn't go well either, does it really? But anything, like the reflex at this boss are ridiculously strong. And it's so frustrating. And uh, there's been so many times I've like started an aura, gone in there, died to reflect straight away and go nope not doing that boss frick it i'm doing something else i don't care if i've got two leg pieces and i only need one left i need to do something else can't be bothered age of zero says one word telos thank you telos is definitely something that you can get freaking raised at so much when i was learning this boss i got so angry so many times countless hours of auras were wasted because i just couldn't keep going back Countless onyxes were just thrown into my ring of death thinking it's fine. I'm gonna learn. I'm not using practice mode and it's countless times that I just shut my laptop because that's what I used to play on. Shut my laptop, walk away and not come back for the rest of the day. <laughs> Frick this boss. Next we have the amount of times I use surge but go in the opposite direction that I clicked. This is called dead clicks and it's so freaking frustrating so normally when you're doing surge and you all know this but just normally when you're doing surge you would click in the direction you want to go and as soon as your character faces that direction you press surge now a lot of the times you just kind of get a feel for how this works so you don't need to actually look and confirm that your character turned around because it should just work right you know where your character stood you know they have no issue with turning around so you'll click in the direction you want to go and then you'll wait that little time in your head that you know is long enough for your character to turn around but because of a dead click your character never turns around so you press surge and you fly off in the other direction and you're like wait what no i wanted to go that way not this way oh, frick's sake and then you've either got to use bladed dive to get back on track or you've just if you got double surge i suppose that'd work but yeah it's it's frustrating it's really annoying not fun the next comment says raksha's tail swipe i swear to god i spam click to move back but the character doesn't feel like it at times this makes me rage so hard I moved and then insta alt f4 yep 100% can agree with this and I know someone else that will agree with you as well dude Jax if you watch him I know full well this is you and you'll probably be laughing at this point but you and this guy are in the same boat now what this probably is is either dead clicks like before with the surge or uh, you've used like rapid fire and you've got that split second at the beginning whether you've got fleeting boots or not there's like a split second that sometimes it can stop you there's even been a bit of lag and the server's just decided your fate and you're pretty much just screwed and there's nothing you can do about it or you've used things like shadow tendrils at the worst time and that can screw you up as well 
well. But there's definitely dead clicks, there's definitely server lag to kill you off at this point, and it is super frustrating. It happens to me all the time, I think it happens to pretty much most people at this point. There's just something that you're going to have to just get used to, I suppose. But yes, definitely, there's been some alt f 4s for me before, and probably from this as well. In fact, let me know in the comments, guys, people listening at this point. Have you ever just alt f 4 the game, been like, frick this, alt f 4 and given up on it? I'm sure there is plenty of times that you have. Let me know in the comments, though. We could probably get a couple more in here. The next one says, by the way, I'm not trying to pronounce your name here. Not happening. I just, I, yeah, not happening. <laughs> Double clicking my look for the dwarves in the end of a kill and accidentally teleporting out. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> right, a lot of you people here are probably thinking, that's not a thing. You can't actually, like, if you double click your look of the dwarves, it doesn't teleport you out. It just, just it just wears it. No, guys, he's got it. <laughs> He's got it on his keybinds. He's got a key binding for it. So he's pressing it twice and it doesn't ask for a confirmation or anything. It'll just teleport you to miscellanea if you've got that unlocked or it'll just teleport you to the Grand Exchange if you don't. So this could be ridiculously unfortunate. But honestly, just pop it in your inventory. If you're clicking it for one, then just pop it in your inventory. If you're pressing the keybind twice, that's unfortunate and I don't really know what to suggest for you on that. But <laughs> I can see this will be incredibly annoying. I, I'd rip. Rip to you, dude. Alright, this is going to be our last comment. You said, 100% when I die to an auto attack. <laughs> Mechanics are one thing, but it just makes me so mad when a 1 to 3k auto slaps me for the rest of my HP. <laughs> so there's a few things in this game at the moment that make you want to camp low health. Makes you want to make sure your health is about, about like 3k, actually, about that, I think. And the two that I can think of off the top of my head is, one, the Darox Relic. Obviously, the lower your health is, the more damage you do. But also, two, is if you when you're eating, you, it costs you adrenaline when you're using sardom and brews it drops your stats so you normally don't want to eat for as long as you can and you just want to sit at like a low bit of health so you're not eating up all the time and draining your stats or draining your adrenaline now this happens it does happen sometimes sometimes it'll just screw you over the boss will smack you for max hit twice in a row or something you've only got green blubber jellyfish or something like that and you just can't out eat it it's just it's just ridiculous it's unfortunate but in all honesty this one's actually kind of funny personally when it happens to me it usually happens on stream so i get a bit of a laugh out of it but yeah this is definitely something that can be really frustrating and i completely agree with you Anyway, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's just another community one, but to be honest, th these have been like my best performing videos over the last couple of weeks, and you guys have really enjoyed them. And I think that you're all enjoying getting involved in the videos as well, and I actually really like being able to do a video where you're all involved as well. Now, of course, if your names have been cropped off, it's because they look like your real name. And if you haven't said it's fine in the actual comment, I do just crop them off. It does make editing a fair bit easier for me. But yeah, like I said, you guys seem to really enjoy these videos. If you have any other questions, Questions that you would like me to ask do leave a comment down below because I'm really enjoying doing these and if you have any questions that you guys want to know like I have to sit for like a few hours every time sit and have a think about questions and I'll come up with a few and none of them will just sort of sit right like it has to it has to be the right question you know it has to get get your interest going so leave me some down below let me know what you think what you what you'd like me to ask other people what you'd like me to ask you and then yeah if you didn't get picked in this one if your comment isn't here I do apologize there was a lot of comments on this one more than any of the other ones so maybe you'll get in the next one but anyway if you enjoyed the video guys do leave a like on it do subscribe if you're new to the channel link to twitch in the description if you want to follow that i do stream fairly regularly for a couple of hours a day and then the last thing if you want to join the channel memberships there's a join button by the sub button you can support me while getting some perks and you can join the list of names that you can see on screen now if i remember to actually do it today but other than that guys i have nothing else for you today so thank you all so so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you all in the next one see you later guys bye